Hey there, this is the Garbage Stacker here with a mini review of the game Felix the Cat in the Sack. In this game, you are trying to collect the most points by bidding on sacks of cats. While trying to get good cats for points, there are bad cats that take away points, dogs that may chase away cats, and maybe a few rabbits that are worth nothing. Starting off, you get a rule book, a wooden sack token as the first player marker, some chips called mice which are the currency of the game, five different colored sets of 10 cards that has 7 cats, a small and a big dog, and a rabbit, and mouse cards which I'll explain later. In this 5 player setup, everyone gets a set of cards, with one card randomly removed before each game. Then click 11 mice chips, and one player gets the first turn marker. Place mice chips on the mouse card indicated by their value. Since this is a blind auction game, you either bid or pass. If you pass, then collect the mice chips on the lowest value card and you are out of the current round. Once a player passes, a card is revealed which gives the players who are still in a bit more information of what's in the sack. Before each auction, in turn order, each player selects a card and puts it face down under a mouse card. I call this row the sack. Once all players are done, the first card is revealed and the auction begins with the first player. He must bid or pass. When a player passes, that player retracts his or her bid and takes the mice chips on the lowest mouse card. Then the next card is revealed. When all the other players pass, the last player pays with his or her last bid. The player now gets all the cats in the sack and puts it aside. Don't put these in your hand. These are points at the end of the game. The next round begins and the winner of the last round plays first. When a big dog appears, the largest valued cat is removed from the sack along with the dog at the end of the round. If it's a small dog, then it's the lowest valued cat that is removed. If more than one dog appears in the sack, then all dogs chase each other out and their effects don't happen. Once all the cards from each player's hands are played, then all the players count up their points in both cards and mice chips and the player with the most points wins. The components are nice except for these things, but the game itself is small and portable. This is meant to be a kid's game, but I enjoy it as a small filler. So some positive stuff. The game is short and simple. Though a blind auction, it really has an interesting mechanism where these cards are revealed as players go out, and there is this bluffing aspect of what cat you put in and where. So being last is a hot spot to be in. But on the negative side, I know there are some people that hate auctions, so this game is not for them. The game only goes up to 5 players, and it's only played best with that number of people. 4 is okay, 3 is boring. So it's not a bad game, and it'll always be a filler game to me. I'm a guy who likes auctions, so if you like auctions, then give it a try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below, and do you have a favorite cat? Subscribe to our channel, visit our Facebook page, and find us on Twitter. This has been the Cardboard Stacker. Track of which cameras have been cut off by the thief. Now, whenever a thief is under a security camera, he may cut the wires and remove the camera from the rest of the game. Unfortunately for the players, if this happens, they won't know it until they activate it.